Hello, one and all. Alicia here with TerraDrip, your sustainable travel and adventure guides. And as such, you may have noticed we talk about water a lot. Staying hydrated with it, kayaking on top of it, and today, purifying it. Because if you're like us, you find the idea of Giardia, Salmonella, and E. coli rather distressing, especially when it comes to your drinking water. Backcountry drinking water, to be precise, which is very often literally swimming with Giardia, rotavirus, hepatitis A, dysentery, I could go on. Because there are dozens of nasties found in natural water sources in the wilderness. Rivers, lakes, streams, ponds, you name it. And a lot of those nasties can make you pretty dang sick. And they could be in just about any body of water. Cause listen, just because a stream looks clean doesn't mean it's not full of viruses, bacteria, and protozoa. So if you're on a backpacking trip or a day hike or are mountain biking through the woods and need to fill up the old water bottle, no matter where you're filling it, you gots to purify. So maybe you already knew that and you went out and got yourself a handy dandy portable water filter like a Sawyer or a Life Straw. Awesome. Good call. But here's the thing, and many outdoorists aren't even aware of this. Filtration does not equal purification. Filters like the Sawyer Mini and the Life Straw Universal are excellent at, well, filtering out particles like dirt, heavy metals, even chemicals. But they also catch protozoa like the dreaded Cryptosporidium cis, as well as bacteria like cholera. But they're no good at neutralizing viruses, which are too small to get caught up in filters. That's where purification tablets like Aquatabs or Iodine Drops come in, which work well in conjunction with filters as a double tap, if you will. Because those tablets kill viruses and bacteria, but that can't touch protozoa like Giardia. The only way to kill all the baddies? Boil your water or use a UV wand like a SteriPen, because those two methods will kill everything. Or double up and utilize a filter and a purifier tablet on all the water you collect and drink or cook with in the outdoors, if you want to be extra safe about it anyway. At least that's what's always had to be done, until recently. See, we found three brands who were making portable filters and purifiers in one in order to simplify the whole backcountry hydration process. And also, you know, make it safer. That's right, these truly impressive portable water filters also purify. How dope is that? And we tested three of them on a few recent outdoorsy excursions to see how they worked and whether we got sick. Spoiler alert, we didn't. And we drank out of some shady water sources too, straight. Up. So let's dive in, shall we, and examine these three travel and backpacker friendly water filters that also purify. Purification filters? Filterification. Pure filters. Anyway, let's get to it with a rundown of each filter, plus a summary of what we thought of each and what they're all good for. First up, the Grail filter bottle. It comes in two sizes, the GeoPress, which purifies 24 ounces, and the Ultralight Compact which purifies 16 ounces. These guys filter out 99.9% .9 of viruses, bacteria, and protozoa with a single press. But it also takes care of microplastics, chemicals, and heavy metals too, making water from dubious sources taste a lot better. And it's all thanks to activated carbon and an ion exchange in the filter itself. This orange purifier cartridge is good for 350 presses, or 300 for the ultralight, and is completely replaceable. Here's how it works. You scoop up your water that needs to be purified into the outer vessel. Make sure not to overfill past the fill line. Then place the inner bottle on top and just press down. It takes a few seconds, but then voila, purificated water. All that's left to do is chug or pour into your kettle or hydration blotter. As for winter usage, the filter itself can withstand up to two freeze-thaw cycles. But as is the case with most filters, you want to avoid freezing if at all possible to prolong its life. The downside, if you're backpacking and counting ounces, these guys are heavy. The GeoPress is 15.9 ounces and the Ultralight is 10.9, so not super ultralight. Second up, 
we have the Rapid Pure Universal Bottle Adapter, which fits on just about any wide mouth water bottle, which is awesome. The Rapid Pure line also includes a gravity filter and water bottles with this same filter, among other filtry items, but they all generally do the same job, filter and purify. They use the brand's Ultra Ceram technology, and this filter removes 99.9% .9 of viruses, bacteria, and parasites, including cysts. And all you have to do is pop on the lid with the attached filter and straw and sip away. It comes with two lengths of straw so you can fit it in multiple size water bottles. The device can survive one freeze-thaw cycle and still purify water and multiple freezes and still function as a filter. The downside? While the filter is good for 200 gallons, the purification part is only rated for 25. Last up, the outdoor answer from Epic Water Filters. Also available with the bottle, if you want. We have plenty of Nalgene's in the closet, so we opted for the answer, which turns your favorite bottle, Nalgene, Camelback, Hydro Flask, you name it, into a purification bottle. It comes with two lid options, a sport cap with a protective cover, and an easy flip cap, plus two straw lengths to accommodate different bottle sizes. The filter works to remove 99.9% .9 of viruses, bacteria, and cysts, plus heavy metals and chemicals like fluoride, and it works for up to 100 gallons. Epic Water Filters also sells a separate filter that is geared more towards filtering tap water and is more suitable for international travel if that's more your speed. Also, fun fact, Epic filters are recyclable, which is a bonus, and the brand's packaging is 100% compostable. Super dope. The downside, the outdoor answer had the slowest flow rate of the three bottles. So those are the contestants. But what did we think of these three filters? Let's dish. Honestly, right off the bat, we were thoroughly impressed with the Grail filter bottles. The design, the website, the marketing, it's all super sleek and well done. And that bottle was the most useful during a recent backpacking trip, largely because we prefer to use hydration bladders to stay hydrated on the trail. So the Grail allowed us to press and purify several cups at a time so we could refill our bladders after a day of hiking, which was super handy. It was also well designed in the cross-contamination department because while many other filters that require you to squeeze a bottle or to push dirty water through a filter and then into a clean bottle, which can easily cause cross-contamination, with the grail and all of its gaskets and covers and lids, we never felt like contaminated water was going to make it into our drinking water, which is awesome. And it totally made super sketchy pond water taste awesome. Before we filtered it, the water was kind of a greenish yellow. Super gross. After, crystal clear and tasted smooth and delicious. Doesn't even taste like pond water. That said, it does take a bit of muscle to get the inner press pushed down all the way. And you do have to remember to open the cap a bit to let air vent so you can press it down at all. But it does offer the most versatility of these three filters as you can either drink straight from the bottle. And I do like to chug when I'm thirsty. So the ability to do that was great. Or pour purified water into another vessel for drinking or cooking or whatever. However, it was the heaviest of the filters on this list. Even the ultralight without the fancy lid weighed more than a Nalgene, a typical filter and a handful of purification tablets. As for the Rapid Pure, it was true to its name. When we sipped through the straw, the flow rate was pretty dang impressive, rivaling that of your average hydration bladder, which was surprising and also pretty great. We appreciated having the option to buy just the universal adapter kit with the filter, lid, and straw because it can be used with just about any bottle from Nalgene, Camelback, Hydro Flask, even Clean Canteen. Because honestly, what outdoorist needs another water bottle. We all have our favorites, right? The beat up and scuffed bottles that are more than a couple years old and bear the scars of numerous drops and tumbles, probably hidden under a thick layer of stickers. Am I right? Am I right? Anyway, it felt less wasteful and it's nice to have the option of buying it with or without a bottle. And it was obviously a no-brainer to use. 
fill up your favorite bottle, screw on the universal adapter with the filter, and drink. No squeezing, no pressing, no waiting for clean drinking water, and it does make water taste better too. We filled it up in the same greenish pond as the grail, and the resulting sips tasted just like they came from a purified tap at home. But that is all it's good for, drinking. You obviously can't pour it into a bladder or rehydrate your overnight oats with it. And we were bummed to learn that the purification part of the filter is only good for 25 gallons. That's a pretty short lifespan in the grand scheme of things. Although the filtration function does work a lot longer and you can always drop in some purification tablets if necessary when your 25 gallons is up. Last but not least, the outdoor answer from Epic Water Filters. While the flow rate wasn't quite as fast as the Rapid Pure, it does have plenty else going for it, like a cap that feels a lot sturdier than the one on the Rapid Pure. Plus, this one comes with two lids, so if one gets busted or you don't care for the plastic cover, you can always swap it out for the second one. It's also easy to use. Just fill up your bottle, screw on the top, and sip. It also has an advantage over the Rapid Pure in that it works as a filter and purifier for the entire 100 gallons it's rated for. We also love the sustainability aspect of Epic Water Filters. The company really wants to help customers recycle their spent filters. If you can't easily recycle the number seven plastic where you live, save up at least four used filters, mail them back to Epic. We'll put the webpage with the dates below and they'll thank you with a free replacement filter. That's a $30 value right there. I know, right? So with all these filters to choose from, which one is right for you? I mean, that depends. If you like to chug your water or easily filter water for uses other than sipping through a straw, then the Grail is obviously your go-to. It's easy, well-designed, and superb for all sorts of water purification purposes. We liked it best for backpacking so we could keep our bladders topped up, but it will also make an excellent bottle for international travel. But if you don't use a hydration bladder and you usually boil water for dinner anyway, you may not want the extra weight of the grail. Or if you're not all that interested in backpacking but want a good water bottle for day hikes or other outdoorsy adventures, the Rapid Pure or Epic is probably the purification filter for you. They're both especially good options for travel as well. If you want the most water down your gullet with every sip and you're more concerned with filtration than purification, go with the Rapid Pure. But if you'd prefer to support a sustainably minded company whose filters purify as long as they filter and you like cap options, Epic is your brand. It's really just a matter of preference. So which one would fit best in your pack? Let us know in the comments below. And if you have a question we didn't address about water bottles or purification or what that weird growth is on your toe, ask away. If we don't know, we'll find out. Except for the toe thing. I was joking about the toe thing. Please don't send photos of your weird toe things. Anyway, we'll go ahead and put links to each of the bottles and their replacement filters in the description below so you can read up or just go ahead and hit add to cart. So before you go, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you found it at all useful or entertaining in any way, shape, or form. And hit subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. You can also follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Terra Drift, and be sure to check out even more sustainable and outdoorsy content, including gear guides, how-tos, destination highlights, and more over on our blog, terradrift.com. And as always, thanks for watching, drink clean water, don't get Giardia, and wander on.